In this video, we're going to set up the newest version of BitTube's GUI wallet, version 2.0.0.4. Alright guys, so as in all of my videos, I'm going to put all of the links for all of these pages in the video in the description below. So if you're new to the channel, this is the first time you've ever watched any of the content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell. Most of the stuff that I do on this channel is educational, teaching people how to mine, how to download wallets, how to use mining software. If that's something you're into, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. But if you decide not to, that's okay too. I hope you enjoy the video. So let's get started. So BitTube just released their new version 2.0.0.4 approximately three days ago as of the recording of this video. So for this example, we're going to be downloading and installing and setting up the BitTube wallet for Windows. All right. So what we're going to do is double left click the BitTube Wallet GUI Window X64 version 2.0.0.4 zip. That's going to take just a minute. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. All right, now that that's done downloading, we can go ahead and open it up. It should be in your downloads folder. And here it is. As you can see, we have a zipped folder. What we're going to do is double left click it, and you can see all the files. But what we're going to need to do is extract all of these files. So go ahead and click on the BitTube Wallet GUI, double left click, and hit Extract All. Now, if you haven't watched any of my videos before, I definitely, let's say, I strongly recommend not keeping any of this information on your local computer. Uh, in my other videos, I talk about keeping uh, all of the information, all of the passwords, all of the seed files, which we'll talk about in just a moment, but keep all of those offline in an encrypted thumb drive or a external hard drive that's encrypted so that if somebody gets a hold of it, they're not able to access your information. You definitely don't want to keep this in the same place that you do all your other internet travels on. Okay, so for this example, we're going to go ahead and put this on the desktop itself. And again, guys, this is just this is just for uh, the example of YouTube. Okay, again, you put this wherever you want. This is just where I'm going to put this for the sake of the video. And I'm going to click Extract. Go ahead and click uh, Show Extracted Files when complete if it's not already checked. Click Extract. It's going to take just a moment. We're going to go ahead and close that folder out. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. All right, so if you haven't created a new folder and placed that in there, you're going to have a big mess on your desktop or wherever you put it. So I'm going to create a new folder by right clicking and then going to new and then folder and then I'm just going to call this uh, YouTube. All right and then I'm going to make sure I grab all of those files and place them in the YouTube folder. Okay. Now obviously this would be easier if you would create a folder to begin with and then after you do that then tell it to extract all of those files into that folder. Alright, I wanted to show you both ways. Alright, so now we're going to click the YouTube folder, open it up, and we're going to click the BitTube Wallet GUI. Alright, and I'm going to explain what this file is in just a moment. but. Go ahead and click this with the BitTube logo. Double left click. It's going to take just a second to come up. Alright, so as you can see, Windows Defender 
I'm going to go ahead and say it's okay on the private network. I'm going to uncheck public networks, allow access. It's going to give me another warning because of my user account settings that I have. Yours may or may not do this depending upon your uh, user account control level. All right, so that goes away. Now, pick your language. And then if you have an old wallet and you have the seeds, you can restore from uh, your old information or your basically your old wallet uh, and put it in this new version of software if that's what you're doing. You can also open it from a file if you have this saved in another location but for this example we're gonna do create a new wallet all right so for the next step let's do this we are going to go to a random password generating website all right you can take your pick from whatever you find on Google or whatever search provider you're looking on but for this example, we're going to use LastPass, and we're not going to use an easy password, okay guys? So understand, if somebody gets a hold of this and they guess your password, guess what? They can steal your coins. So I do 30 is a minimum. That sounds extremely complicated, but if somebody gets a hold of this, gets a hold of my information I definitely don't want them being able to steal my coins so do yourself a favor pick a real strong random generated password alright don't make it easy to say easy to read or anything else make sure you use uppercase lowercase numbers and symbols if possible now I'm gonna click refresh a couple times and then I'm gonna hit copy then I'm going to tell LastPass no thank you. I'm going to minimize that. And what I'm going to do here, two things. I'm going to click in here, and then I'm going to hit Control and V. And again, click down here, Confirm Password, Control, V. All right, before I click Next, what I want to do is open up a new notepad or a new uh, word pad or word doc and I want to save this password again if you keep if you're keeping this in, on an offline uh, plug-in USB stick or a external hard drive then I would suggest keeping all this information in one place all of these files everything in one place you're gonna to want to go ahead and open up the notepad and copy and paste that in. So we're going to do notepad. However you format this, that's completely up to you. But this is just my preferred method. I'm going to go ahead and type password and then control V again and now I have my password down. So whenever I want to access my wallet I physically have to go in here and copy and paste this in because there's no way because it's so difficult that I'll be able to memorize that and that's kind of the point you don't want to be able to memorize it you don't want it that easy okay so go ahead and minimize that and then I'm gonna click next alright so to be able to communicate with the BitTube network your wallet needs to be connected to a BitTube node for best privacy it's recommended to run your own node if you don't have that option to run your own node, there's an option to connect to a remote node. Alright, this is the remote node. I am going to start the node automatically in the background on my local host. Okay, that's what's recommended. That's what I'm going to do. Next. Alright, and as you can see, you could have changed the wallet name. It just defaulted to that for me on my computer. So you're more than welcome to change the wallet name on this screen here and while we're talking about it you can do this now or you can do this later all right but you can copy and paste and I'll show you where you can do this so control C and then go back here 
type in seed and then control V and those are your seed files and I'll explain that in just a moment I'll show you uh, if you miss this that's okay um, what we're going to do is click use BitTube and this is going to start synchronizing in just a moment but once uh, the wallet actually starts I can show you where to go and get your seed and all your other uh, private and public uh, view keys okay again it's gonna give me another prompt I'm gonna say yes that's gonna go away and it's going to attempt to start the daemon for whatever reason if you cannot start the daemon you can start it manually over here or you can click up here if it fails to start on the first attempt if it does not start no big deal just click here and get get it to attempt to start again okay so see daemon failed so okay I'm gonna go ahead and click up here start daemon and it's gonna attempt to do it again maybe because I'm using a lot of bandwidth right now uh, recording the video a lot of processor cycles uh, no telling maybe it's my internet connection I don't know but regardless go ahead and give it another try and there you go alright so as you can see I'm already synchronized because I have already downloaded a BitTube wallet and I have already um, done this process before if this is the first time you're doing this then this can take um, an awful long time guys so this can actually take um, depending upon your internet connection depending upon the computer you, that you're on your CPU this can take a considerable amount of time it might take two three four five six eight hours okay just be patient let it do its thing let it synchronize and then you're ready to go all right let me walk you through the wallet go ahead and minimize that for right now move this over all right so you can see that this is a fresh wallet I don't have any balance if you want to send BitTube coins or tube coins to this wallet this is the address the primary address that you want to send it to okay so you can copy and I'm gonna go ahead and put that here primary address control V all right and I'm gonna go ahead and space down a little bit now again if you're mining to this wallet this is the address you want to use okay all right minimize that so it doesn't confuse anybody all right so that's received you can go down to advanced options here's your QR code if you want you can go look at the history of all the ins and outs to the wallet mining at this time I don't want to do that but it's asking me if I'd like to start mining through um, through the actual wallet I'm not going to do that at this time I will do a, uh, another mining uh, video uh, probably tomorrow or the next day where I show um, how to actually mine with additional software uh, that's currently out on the market okay this is where you would do that if you wanted to mine with the actual wallet itself alright now you go to advance and you can go to prove check this is basically if you want to prove a transaction uh, you have to have the transaction ID the recipients wallet address uh, and then if you wanted to put a message in you could but basically this is how you prove that you sent something to someone okay same thing with check transaction alright so shared ring DB we're not going to worry about that sign verify we're not going to worry about that we go down to settings now you can change um, 
different settings within the wallet. Nothing that we want to go through right now. Um, you can see it's pretty self-explanatory. Stop local node, change password, close wallet, create view only wallet, rescan wallet balance. We're not going to do any of that for this video. Seeds and keys. So what I want to do, it's going to prompt me for my password again. So I'm going to copy, control C, click in the field here, control V. Continue. All right. So this is your secret view key, your public view key, secret spend key, public spend key. And to prove some of your transactions or prove your transactions and prove sending and some other stuff that I don't want to necessarily cover in this beginning class uh, of how to set the wallet up, you will need these addresses. OK, so what we want to do is double click in here somewhere. It says keys copied to clipboard. So I just double left clicked. All right. And then I'm going to control V. And now I have all of that information in my little file. And remember, before you close this thing, to save it to whatever location you're going to have the rest of these files in. All right. So pretty simple. Um, as I said before, you could go back a couple steps uh, or in the wallet, you could still find the 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 actual seed words. So these are the seed words here. As you can see, they are the same. But that's how you get to them. And again, guys, very important before I stop the video, all of this information that I just put online, I only put this online and I only started this wallet for the, the sake of creating the video. Because you can see the seed key and all of my other keys, as well as my password, I can never put any uh, tube coins in this wallet. It's essentially useless because now that it's online, everybody has my information. You can recreate this wallet if you want. Uh, knock yourself out. I'll never put any money in this wallet. All right. And you should do the same. Never, ever show anybody this information all right i hope this has been informative for you and again if you like the content please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so and click that notification bell so you can get more um, training classes and more news as it relates to the cryptocurrency space again thanks for watching and i'll talk to you next time